the apocalypse never changes. Except in this case, when it's brought upon by a man and his dog. We rejoin our two heroes, the postal dude and his beloved sidekick champ, as they narrowly escape the nuclear destruction of their apocalyptic weekend escapades. Having braved everything the world could throw at them this past week, all seems well for the two. Yep, looks like everything worked out pretty good in the end. Eh, champ? Unfortunately for them, their triumph would be short-lived. <laughs> what the stupid dog? The dude hastily turns about in pursuit of his loyal companion, speeding down the way from whence he came. The ever-expanding mushroom cloud looming over the horizon only grows larger as he nears. However, it's not the imminent radioactive fallout that proves to be the greatest danger. Ah, ah this damn head wound. Crap. Not now. Ah. Trapped in the inky blackness of his mind, the dude suffers terrifying, frightful images of a future gone wrong. I regret nothing. <gasps> he awakens with a shock. It was all just a horrible nightmare. Or was it? A concerned Good Samaritan stands idly by. Are you alright? <sighs> it's this damn bullet lodged in my brain from when my hateful ex-wife drove me to shoot myself. <coughs> <coughs> but I think I'm just fine now. <coughs> what the hell was that? Mysterious voice changing aside. The postal dude learns he has miraculously recovered from an 11-year radiation-induced coma. He now stands at the outskirts of an unfamiliar town. If he wishes to find his lost dog champ, he'll have to begin his search there. The Good Samaritan offers one final piece of assistance. Take this map fragment to guide you as you begin your journey. It looks like you have an interesting day ahead of you, so I'll leave you to your own devices. Good luck. On with nothing but a tattered map piece and a box of matches, our intrepid hero takes the first tentative steps into the unknown town. Yet strangely, one that seems somewhat familiar. <sighs> Guess it's back to the old grind.